Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a Teochew inspired meal. So actually it's going to work soon. Uh, we are going to have uh, early lunch. So I'm going to show you three dishes. Uh, one of them is uh, my salmon. You know, you guys, we love salmon, right? Who, don't, who doesn't? So I'm going to prepare uh, the marinade for the salmon first and then followed by the eggs and then followed by uh, spinach this is a garlic lemon spinach stir fry this is going to be something like a teriyaki style salmon and then we're gonna have uh, like an omelette LG he loves omelette and it's really good to eat them especially in the morning so now it's like late morning so we're gonna hopefully get this done so let's start off by the fish by the way good morning so if you are missing this it's okay you could still watch, watch replay and if you're new here uh, my channel is about healthy eating learning how to live in a slow peaceful life so if you if this channel is speaking to you i hope you consider subscribing and don't forget to put the notification bell on so that you get notified when I jump on live like this. So I have some sesame oil, which I have uh, about, a, about a teaspoon. So I'm just going to just marinate this with a little bit of soy sauce. So for pieces of salmon, you can actually uh, have them whole piece if you like, but I prefer to have them in a, like a bite-sized piece. So I'm going to have about one tablespoon of black soy sauce and also some Shaoxingjiu, some rice uh, wine for cooking. Just a bit. So you want to marinate this for at least 10 minutes before you cook them. Put this aside if you like you can actually add some lemon juice which i'm going to do that just a little bit lemon juice this is a teochew inspired meal uh, teochew is a dialect in singapore where it's a uh, it's a quite a special we call it the the express hokkien <laughs> because they speak quite fast so i'm going to put this aside and then i'm going to prepare the egg so over here i have three eggs uh, actually i can make one more because lg is going to work and we'll be eating this together for lunch so i'm going to add one more egg some garlic a little bit of garlic this is ginger this is my garlic it's very convenient to have them chopped up prepared in advance isn't it so just a bit of garlic and then there's this chinchalo i don't know whether you guys know this this uh this you can buy in asian store it's actually uh mini mini tiny baby shrimps that is being fermented so i like to eat them, them it, it is so but today i'm gonna try and uh, use this a little bit just for the flavoring and i actually have no clue what is this it's outside removing the snow so you need just a bit because this is quite strong so about one teaspoon should do the job and because this is so salty, you don't need to add a lot of salt in this. So I'm just going to be adding just a tiny bit of salt. Yep. And then just whisk this. 
If you like, you can add pepper too. But LG didn't like pepper in the eggs. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, this is dish number two. Put it aside. And dish number three is very simple. Just some spinach. You just wash them, dry them. And then what you need is a half a lemon and then some garlic. That's it. Very simple, right? Okay, I'm going to start off by uh, cooking the fish. I uh, know the egg first. Actually, I like to fry the egg first. But I'm going to move you guys over here so you can see what am I doing here. Okay. So, heat up the pan. This pan is terrible. Elvis is going to complain. Uh, Because this is an express heating uh, mode, so it's going to heat up quite quickly. And then I'm going to throw in some green chili and some spring onions. Increase the heat a little bit. I usually like to fry the egg first because egg uh, will somehow uh, flavor the pan. And uh, it's, it won't dirty the pan. So usually, you know my lazy style. Uh, I say that LG is going to complain about this pan. It's because if you notice here, the, the some part of the teton has, is missing. So I don't know why. Maybe because the pan is overheated. It's really hot, so I'm going to add the egg. You can come closer so you can see what it looks like. The smell of the chincharo is quite strong. Usually Sunday we don't like to cook so long time in the kitchen. So for me today, because he's working today, so I want to make sure that he's well fed before he go to work. Hopefully there is some enough for us to eat later on. So I'm going to flip the egg. Yeah. Done. Lazy, right? So, dish number one is done. Dish number two. So, we need a... Uh, this is how it looks like. Dish number one. Chincharo egg with green chili and spring onion. Dish number two. You need quite a lot of garlic for this. So, in with the garlic. Make sure the pan is not too hot. I'm going to off the pan for a while because I see that the garlic is burning. And then I want to move the pan aside and then add some salt. You see, the pan is too hot. Oh, 
cook. And then now you want to add the lemon juice. I'm going to see if I can find that this one. For my lemon juice. Let's go. I just need to pour them in here. Because this lemon is quite small, oops, I'm going to use a whole lemon, uh, or, or rather three quarter of a lemon. And remember, just now I fried the fish, right? I prepared the fish with the lemon juice, right? So this is the. Oh, I don't like this. It's quite difficult to get out. Hmm. So, see, it's slightly brown, but I think it's okay. So now you want to add the rest of the spinach. You don't want to cook. You don't want to uh, fry the spinach because if you fry them, it will be, uh, it will lose the vitamins. So the pan is hot. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of heat just to stir things up so that I could eat them, not like 100% raw, but at least 60% raw. This is very good diet food because it contains um, lemon juice and lemon juice goes very very well with spinach. I don't know why, it tastes so good. So you don't want to fry this too long otherwise you lose the vitamin and LG doesn't like uh, soft vegetables so if you have the same problem at home you can actually mix that you know before you put in the spinach you can actually just pour this the the garlic the lemon inside the salad as a dressing if you don't want to stir fry them so this is done okay no need to cook them for too long mm. dish number two Huh? Very shook, right? Mm. Okay, dish number three. Lazy chef, don't have to wash your pan. Just hit the pan with some oil. Then, with some ginger, about a teaspoon. About a teaspoon of garlic. And then, some spring onions. You want all of them in. A little salt. But remember, the salmon has already been seasoned. So you don't have to season them for two too much salt in there. You, do, you saw I didn't put any salt. I didn't put the salt here because I don't want to burn the garlic. So make sure the heat is not too hot. And then I'm going to put the salmon in here. There you go.
show you while this fish is cooking let me just show you what happened uh, earlier on i made a porridge or rather a congee uh, earlier on hi there so i'm going to show you how i explain to you how i do the congee so this is just rice with water sweet potato and some potato i have some leftover potato so i put everything in and then i put tons of water and then i just boil them in a medium low heat for one hour so this is going to be like a porridge this is actually a tier two style porridge so there's lots of vitamins in this because of the potato and the sweet potatoes so it's really good. I usually like to make a big pot. And the thing is that it always spills over. So you have to make sure and keep an eye on the the congee. So that you know you, you will not get issue like me. So don't, hot, don't heat up too hot. So let's see the fish. I'm going to turn the fish a little bit. As you can see I didn't fry the fish for in too high heat. You don't want to do that because if you do that, the fish will be very dry. Let me know what you think about uh, my dish in the comment because uh, I really want to know um, whether what kind of meals do you want me to cook for you guys uh, for me I like something that is really fast and healthy so this is my channel all about lazy chef cooking fast food <laughs> Chinese fast food but in a more health, healthy way, I hope. And, um, you know, it's really very individual how everybody wants their food. So for me, I'm quite particular about how the way cook is cooked. And it should look good too, right? Okay, this is done. I'm going to just turn the heat lower because I don't want the soy sauce to splatter. So I'm going to... Flip the camera over now and show you how it looks like. I'm gonna add some a bit of soy sauce. Just hmm, it's very good. So I'm just gonna just add a little bit of soy sauce. If you have a shiitake a mushroom, it will be very good with this too. So this is done. Okay. Okay, uko. Dish number three. Just, and then I can ask LG to come and makan. So you can cook these two at home in under 20 minutes. If you like this, give thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And also uh, if you are new here, I welcome you to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to put the notification bell on. So this is how it looks like. I'm going to take pictures and put them in my YouTube post under the community. Let's have a taste for these three dishes. One. Two, three. I'm going to taste the chinchalo egg first. Mm. I could taste the chinchalos flavors <coughs> so it's really good you don't really need a lot of that 
dish number two, the spinach. <laughs> oh god, this is so good. If you never use lemon for your stir fry before, try that. I'm sure you will love it. Spinach itself has a very, very sharp flavors. I do not know whether some of you agree. But with the lemon, it makes it even more sharper. So this is a very good boost, especially if you are eating uh, in the morning, you want to have this boost instead of coffee. I will tell you, this will wake you up, all right? <laughs> For sure. And the garlic, of course. You guys know I drink garlic water every morning. So I could easily whack this myself. Seriously. And the third dish is the stir fried fish. Mmm. Cooking the fish in not high temperature, it really makes a lot of difference. The fish is more tender, it's not dry out. It's cooked perfectly, it's cooked true. And then the thing is that try not to cook, uh, cut the chunk too thick because if it's too thick, there are chances that you might not cook. You have to cook it longer. So try to thin up the fish, not too thick, not too thin, uh, around this size. Let me just show you. Around this size would be perfect. About a centimeter thick. Okay. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video. And if you do, please give thumbs up. And I want to thank you guys for subscribing to me um, in the past few years. I really appreciate that. And I hope to see you in my next few live stream in the next week all right i try to do a live streaming on alternate day uh hopefully um, everybody can join or even though if you can't replay is available uh i am planning to post just one video on saturday from now onwards because i find that people are still searching for certain uh, videos just like for live streaming, it's really time constraining. I don't want the live streaming to be too long either because um, what you want is the shortest period of time and then you get the most out of it, right? So I'm going to try and do more of this kind of uh, simple meal, yet fast, and for especially lazy people. So I hope to see you again in my next video. See you guys. Bye-bye.